Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Aries. Aries, this week we have a new moon. If you've ever listened to me before and uh, you've heard me talk about a new moon, you know I love a new moon because it gives us the opportunity to let go and transcend our energy, depending on where it's at, and evolve to the next level. It allows us to drop baggage and start again and have a clear slate. Now this new moon is in your position of primal energy, fear, jealousy, sexuality, all those kind of primal emotions, power and powerlessness. If there's any wound in your past connected to sexuality, betrayal, all of that kind of stuff that's very, uh, you know, intense, you're able to let it go and move on to the next stage. You're able indeed to step into your power and to be fearless. And also it's a good time to focus on your finances and the things in life that kind of make you feel that you're okay, that you're, oh, in control's the wrong word, but do you know what I mean? It's like you're, you're, you're focusing on all the stuff that keeps your primal self satisfied and secure. So this is a very, very powerful time. And you're quite psychic at this time. The other big news this week is that Mars, your ruler, is going into your position of relationships. And it's interesting because actually it's going into your opposite sign. So, you know, on the one hand, it's a bit like, oh, you know, it's a very different energy. But on the other hand, it's very good because it brings a gentleness to you when you're dealing with relationships. You're able to weigh things up, balance things up, and you're passionate about resolving any relationship issues, friendship issues, and of course, relationships to yourself. However, if somebody threatens, or you know, if you perceive somebody is threatening anything to do with your relationship, you may be quick to temper, so obviously calm that down. Now, the other good news is Venus, the planet of love, is joining forces with Mars to combine that energy of the kind of softness and the fire to bring about a sense of balance. You know, in the old days, when we use terms like the masculine and the feminine, it's that kind of yin and yang energy. So you're able to feel very passionate, very intense, and very able to find what you need when it comes to love. Take care, and I'll speak to you next week. If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.